Hi, I'm back again. Um, this is the second part of the tutorial and the noise you can hear in the background is my compressor for my airbrush. And I'm going to show you how I want to paint this flower here that I just made and to make it look something like this one. Now this one's got a slightly different centre but I think you can see the paint effect on it reasonably well. Hopefully you can. I'm going to move that one out of the way and what I have here is just a piece of modelling clay and that's simply so I've got something to hold the flower if I need to put it down and I put a piece of cling film over because I don't really want to get my modelling clay covered in paint so there we go now I'm using food colouring in this particular instance and there's no reason why you can't do that and all I'm going to do is push my flower into my modelling clay to give it something to stand on. Now you notice I have gloves on, yes. I have learnt the hard way that uh, food colourings and airbrush colours, my hands generally get absolutely plastered and it takes a little while to wear off. So I prefer not to do that if I can help it. Right, now I've got my airbrush and it's just a cheapy one, this particular one, it's not my Iwata. Um, but this one is one I reserve for food colouring. And I have my little... I don't know if you can see this on camera. Just about. Um, my little compressor here. And the pressure that I'm using on this, it's set... At the moment it looks like it's on 30. When I'm actually using it, it goes down to about 20. And at the back end of the airbrush, I have it so it's almost shut and then I just give it about half a turn so that it's open. Now in this particular case I'm going to start off with a yellow and I'm just going to put a drop or two in here, not very much because I don't need very much. That's literally just one drop and if I move my flower out the way because I don't want to get too close to the camera with this, <laughs> that's the last thing I need. This is a double action, so you press down and then you pull back to get the colour. And I'm just going to see if that colour will come out or whether there's not enough in there. Now, some of the old colours coming out from when I was doing the blue earlier. Let's open it up a little bit more. Now I need some more. And you do need to be careful with this stuff because it will stain all sorts of things. If you're not careful, you can end up with your room being repainted. Right, there we go. There's yellow. Now I'm going to close that down a bit and reopen it to my previous setting. There we go. And you can see I get a pretty delicate shade. So, down for the air and back to start getting some colour and it's really really fun and it's really easy now don't forget when you're doing this you want to do the back as well because you don't want that looking pure white so you can just give it a little a little dose of colour there we go give it more or less depending on what you fancy now be wary if you're doing airbrushing not to tip your airbrush up so that the paint comes out because I've done that before now. Okay, so what I want to do is give it a very delicate coat on the outside. I'm just going to have a look beyond the camera see if you can actually see what I'm doing. Yeah, you can. Uh, I can't tell. There we go. And then I think I want a slightly stronger colour. Now I'm not going to empty out what I've got. I'm just going to add some red into this. And I have it open. Okay, now to mix it up, cover my tip and just make it bubble up a little bit. Okay, now let's see what colour am I going to get out of there now. Still getting the yellow so far. open it up a bit. Still getting the yellow. Come on. 
I'm using a very, very low pressure, which is why. There we go. Right, okay, we're getting the orangey one now, so I can close it back up to what I was doing before. There we go. And I want to make the centre a darker colour. And I want to put a little bit of this darker colour around the very, very tip of the petals. Just a little bit of extra colour around the tip. And I still want to leave a lot of, not quite complete white, but almost white on there. Okay, and I'm going to go from the back and do a little bit on the back of the petals. There we go. I'm done. I'm quite happy with that. Now you can play around to your heart's content, get in different results, different ombre shades or whatever it is that you like. Now regarding the center, you don't have to put a bead in the center. You could put a little pom-pom in the center. You could put a button in the center. You can do many different things. If you don't want your center to get paint on it, and in the case of the bead, it makes no difference, but if you don't want it to get any paint on it, use a fat straw and just put the fat straw over the bead and spray, or whatever it is you've got in the centre, and spray it regardless. Okay, there we go. Hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.